Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to New Day Vlogs. Today I'm at home trying to uh, get everything organized and straightened up like I told you I was going to do. And I <clears throat> just wanted to show you a quick update of what's been going on. Here today I'm actually in the new spare bedroom and I'm stepping over furniture. Right now I've got to step over the bed frame so I can show you what's going on here. Um, I moved the mattresses. Let me show you. Um, I had the mattresses on this wall here and I moved them over here because I went to Home Depot the other night and I ended up purchasing um, a new gallon of paint. Uh, the paint color is called uh, Tanglewood. It's by Bear and um, the color that's in the spare bedroom now is one shade lighter than Tanglewood. Tanglewood, I decided to go with one shade darker just because um, I find that darker colors don't show like scratch marks and so forth as much or as easy. So um, I'm hoping that Tanglewood is not too dark. Um, if it is too dark, I'm going to try a little sample on the wall today and I waited to do it today in the true daylight just to see how it looks in the daylight. Um, if I feel it's too dark, then I'm going to have Home Depot light in it. And you can do that. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but you can actually uh, take a gallon of paint that's too light or too dark to Home Depot and either have them lighten it or darken it. Um, so yeah, they can lighten it. Um, I think he told me up to like 25% lighter. Um, but anyway, today I'm actually moving furniture around, but I want to get started on painting this room because I need to get this done. If I can get it done today and maybe tomorrow, like I'm going to do all the trim work around the ceilings today and get that done and put two coats around it. And then I'm going to try to get the walls started and get all those painted. And if I don't finish up painting the walls today, I'll do that. I'll finish it up tomorrow and then tomorrow I can move the furniture back once everything dries. So. I've got so much to do between now and Wednesday. These are my last few days before my, my parents move in with us. So, oh, you guys, wish me luck. I'm going to need every bit of it. But anyway, um, I'm going to do um, a little bit of a speed, speed video today so that you guys can follow along. If I was to film the whole thing, you'd probably be with me for hours on end. So I'm going to speed things up today and let you get a little glimpse of my day. I'm probably not going to film the entire room being painted because I know that would be really repetitious and very boring <laughs> to see it. But I'll show you bits and pieces and then... Um, this this video will probably it's right now Sunday afternoon early afternoon so I'm sorry it's not going to go up first thing in the morning because I'm going to wait till tomorrow and do also some filming on moving some of the furniture around and back in place once it's it's done and it's painted so uh, be on the lookout for it well you're going to be watching this whenever it's up anyways but I'm sorry it won't be up earlier on Monday but um, yeah, I'm trying to get it done, and it'll probably go up sometime late afternoon or probably sometime tomorrow evening. Um, so anyway, uh, just follow along with me today and tomorrow. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, then uh, give me a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you think about the new paint color, and um, yeah, let's get started. I hope that you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you back when I get finished with everything. After getting the Tanglewood color, the original color I purchased the other night, up on the wall, I hate it. <laughs> um, the color, I don't know, it's supposed to look more like gray. It looks more like a tan color. And don't get me wrong, I love tan colors, but that just, to me, is not what I was looking for for this particular room. So I ended up going back to Home Depot, and luckily they were nice enough to swap it out, which usually they do not do that. They did try to lighten it um, to the color that was lighter, which is the color that we have in the old office area. I'm sorry, in the old spare bedroom area. Um, this color here is what we have in our old spare bedroom. I love it. Beautiful. This color here, they did try to lighten it to match this, and it, they just could not get it lightened. They tried twice. So with much begging and pleading, they did change it out and gave me a new gallon of the Toasty Gray. So this is a pretty color. It's just not the color that I want for a smaller room like this. I mean, this is bigger than... This is not a tiny room, but it's definitely too dark for this size of a room. So I'm glad that they swapped it out for the color that I have in the other room because it's beautiful and I think it's going to just really make it pop. So 
look at this color on the wall. I mean, it just looks so beige, and that's just not what I wanted. I wanted this this room to look more open and airy. So, Peggy Mower, Moore, I think that's your name. I can't pronounce it, and I hope I'm not butchering your name. I just want to tell you thank you for giving me your opinion the other night and let me know what you thought. You were absolutely right, so I am going with the lighter color. So thank you for that, and if you guys are interested again in this color, this color right here is called Toasty Gray, and it's by Bear from Home Depot. Um, the color that I am not going to be doing that's pretty, just not for me, is called um, Tanglewood. So if you guys like that color, and it might be you know, what you would like in your house, that is the color for that. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get started redoing the trim that I just did, and um, yeah, I probably will not show you repainting that because it's going to take it's going to take a little bit because I got to put two coats on it. So, you guys, I have not gotten as much done today as I thought I was going to because um, I had to go and check on my mother. I had to take the paint back and change it out, and I just got home, and it's right now. I think it's after four o'clock, so. <sighs> Yesterday, and I know you can't really tell it very well, but um, on Sunday, I went ahead and did the trim over to this corner here. Um, my goal today, and I'm gonna film this too, is to paint all of this wall. I wanna paint this side wall here and I'd like to, if I get around to it, paint this while I'm filming. Um, I went ahead and did the trim because that's less work to have to do. And like I was saying yesterday, it's very repetitious to just sit there and watch and it's very boring. So I'm not going to paint the whole room on camera, but I am going to do these two small walls and then the middle wall here so I can put the bed together um, and you know, push it up against the wall there. And then when I get finished with that, I will work on the remaining walls. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a little peek of what I did yesterday. I know the color on camera looks beige. It's actually more of a gray. It's more of a gray beige. It's the same color that's in my um, new office, but the lighting in here kind of makes it look really beige, but it's really not. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, so I'm super excited about how it's going to turn out. But yeah, so um, I'm going to go have some morning tea and get woke up because it's early. And um, it is, if you look outside today, you guys, we're supposed to get some thunder showers. And um, it's not too cold right now, but it's just overcast and gray and... Yeah, the wind's blowing a little bit this morning. I think a storm's uh, blowing in. So, yeah, it's kind of a gloomy day, so it's actually a perfect day to paint.
Okay, guys, I finished painting this corner over here, this whole like little section, all of this big wall and above the window. And this wall over here is drying as I speak. Um, I'm not going to have time to film the rest of painting the room and then on top of that put the, the furniture back just because it's already after 3 o'clock today going on 4 and I still have to wait till it's dry. I need to remove all the tape, sweep them up, and then um, I'm going to try to put the bed back today. I um, wanted to show you really quick. I'm in my bedroom, my actual master bedroom right now, and let me show you. In our closet, in our master bedroom, these closets are very small, so my husband and I built um, a, a walk-in closet downstairs to put our clothes in. So this little closet that's in our bedroom is our linen closet um, for sheets and, um, well, I guess blankets and stuff, because we've got blankets and stuff up here, but um, we've got sheets and stuff. So. Because my parents are staying in this room, I'm actually taking this shelf out, it is removable, and I'm actually going to make one linen closet in the spare bedroom closet um, for blankets and um, sheets and pillowcases and anything that doesn't fit that I'm not using, I'm taking it and donating it. But um, this is going to go out so that my parents can have this closet while they're staying here because the last time they stayed, they did not actually have a closet. Um, they just used like these little pull-out plastic carts to fold clothes up and put in. And you know, this go round, I'd really like for them to have their own space and to be as comfortable as possible. So um, yeah, I plan on moving that shelf into this closet here, which you can't get to because I've got the foam. We have all this padding for our um, spare bedroom bed because the bed itself is kind of kind of firm so um, yes this foam is so old but you know what it's a well, lie saw it it's clean and it's just old so it's of course yellowed over time but let me tell you yellowed or not we put the mattress pad cover on it and put the sheets over that and it is the most comfortable bed I just wish it was a king size and a little bit larger but anyway um I will post that video of moving the um, that little uh, shelf that's in the other closet into this room in, in Friday's upcoming video for this coming Friday. Um, just because I'm running out of daylight, you guys. This took a lot longer than I thought. I'm just really glad that it's done. Um, like I said, I'm going to take the tape off. And then I will go ahead and start cleaning and put that in speed motion as far as cleaning up the floor and, and sweeping and mopping. And then I'm going to put the bed back together and that's about all I'm going to have time to do today. Okay guys, I finished painting this corner over here, this whole like little section, all of this big wall and above the window. And this wall over here is drying as I speak. Um, so I'm not going to have time to film the rest of the video and put the furniture back. So I'm not going to have time to film the rest of painting the room and then on top of that put the, the furniture back just because it's already after 3 o'clock today going on 4 and I still have to wait till it's dry. I need to remove all the tape, sweep them up, and then um, I'm going to try to put the bed back today. Um, wanted to show you really quick okay okay I'm in my bedroom my actual master bedroom right now 
and let me show you in our closet in our master bedroom these closets are very small so my husband and I built um, a, a walk-in closet downstairs to put our clothes in so this little closet that's in our bedroom is our linen closet um, for sheets and um, comf well I guess blankets and stuff because we've got blankets and stuff up here but um, we've got sheets and stuff so because my parents are staying in this room I'm actually taking this shelf out it is removable and I'm actually going to make one linen closet in the spare bedroom closet um, for blankets and um, sheets and pillowcases and anything that doesn't fit that I'm not using I'm taking it and donating it but um, this is going to go out so that my parents can have this closet while they're staying here because the last time they stayed they did not actually have a closet um, they just used like these little pull out plastic carts to fold clothes up and put in and you know this go round I'd really like for them to have their own space and to be as comfortable as possible so um, yeah I plan on moving that shelf into this closet here which you can't get to because I've got the foam we have all this padding for our um, spare bedroom bed because the bed itself is kind of kind of firm so um, yes this foam is so old but you know what it's a I saw it it's clean and it's just old so it's of course yellowed over time but let me tell you yellowed or not we put the mattress pad cover on it and put the sheets over that and it is the most comfortable bed I just wish it was a king size and a little bit larger but anyway um I will post that video of moving the um, that little uh, shelf that's in the other closet into this room in, in Friday's upcoming video for this coming Friday. Um, just because I'm running out of daylight, you guys. This took a lot longer than I thought. I'm just really glad that it's done. Um, like I said, I'm going to take the tape off. And then I will go ahead and start cleaning and put that in speed motion as far as cleaning up the floor and, and sweeping and mopping. And then I'm going to put the bed back together. And that's about all I'm going to have time to do today. So let's get started. So, we'll be back in just a second. I just wanted to give you a little tip um, that might help you if you're doing a painting project in the future. I'm going to zoom in because the floor is wet right now and I'm mopping it. Okay, so years ago, I don't know if you can see this or not, up here on the ceiling um, there is some dark navy blue paint right at the top of the ceiling where the paint meets the ceiling. Yes, you could go back through and tape off the paint you, that you just did. But a better option that would probably look a little bit better is to put some painter's tape up against the new paint and the, the edge of the ceiling on the wall and take a little bit of caulk and go over that with a, um, a thin line of caulk. And that way you don't have to worry about the paint not matching or whatnot because caulk is pretty close to what I've already got on my ceiling and so I just took a little bead you can't even really tell um let me see if I can zoom in I don't know if you can see that I took a little bit of caulk right at the edge of the ceiling and just kind of went over the dark patches because I don't have anything but but um I think it's called pure white paint sorry this is so blurry pure white paint um to touch that up so anyway um, I used caulk and it works out perfect you just have to let it dry but um, just wanted to give you that tip if you guys do get a different color on your ceiling so yeah keep that in mind take a little bead of caulk and go right at the edge of it and that will cover up that paint 
Okay guys, I am so tired. Whew, I have had the longest day. Um, I got a lot accomplished today. As you can see, I was going to film putting the bed back together. Um, but I literally had to put the frames back together and then I had to connect the headboard and the footboard together. They are held in by Allen screws. I think that's what they're called. I'm not really sure. They're the little five star um, screws, but you have to take an Allen wrench to screw them in. But oh my goodness, on that corner over there on the headboard and corner and on this opposite corner at the footboard, two of the screws did not want to go in and it literally, you guys, took me an hour to get those screwed in. Oh my goodness. I am sweating a storm up and I'm not even going to show you what it looked like right now. But anyway, um, I've got to put the bed skirt on the bed and then I'm going to put the mattress on there and I'm going to call it a day. I am so tired. I'm sorry I'm not going to show you guys making the bed tonight, but I have been going at this since about 10 o'clock this morning and I am so tired. So anyway, um, that wardrobe, oh my god, it weighs like 200 pounds with all of Josh's stuff in it. So I have pushed and pulled. I will be so sore tomorrow. I guarantee that. But I've got my exercise in for the day for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just finish up this tonight, put the bed skirt on there. I'm going to put the mattress on the bed. And I don't even think I'm going to make it tonight. I think I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. But anyway, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining today. I greatly appreciate all of you, and if you're new to my channel, I'm so glad to have you viewing this channel. If you like it, this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and for anyone that's new that is not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my little YouTube family on here. You guys have a great rest of the night, and um, I will see you back here on Friday for Friday's vlog, and you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.